Let's move on to priority number two. Priority number two is to be in the middle of the opponent's return angle. Simply divide the courts into thirds. As you can see, I have the players lined up on the thirds. As long as the ball is in the middle of the court, Martha and Nancy should be somewhere along that third. But once the ball is hit wide, Betty goes wide to cover the ball. Martha, understanding now, must leave her third and cover that side. Nancy must leave that third and cover towards the middle to cover the angle off that the new shot has created. Fred knows to move over to help cover the hole that Betty has left. Once the shot is hit wide, the court changes shape. You, as their opponent, must understand this return angle and be in the middle of that angle so that you can attack and defend anything that they hit. All right, let's see what happens when Martha forgets to flow to cover the angle with the shot I create. Now let's take a look at Martha when she correctly covers that angle. As you can see, there was a hole left in the middle of the court. Let's see what happens when Nancy understands the movement also. Martha did, but so does Nancy. Simply flow with the ball. Wherever the ball goes, I want both people flowing with the ball. So they both must move in the direction of the ball to cover the middle of the opponent's return angle. All right. So you can see the rule is simply flow with the ball. The ball tells you how to move sideways. So if you simply follow the ball, flow with the ball, you'll be very close to the middle of the return angle at all times. If the ball is hit wide to the left, both players must shift left. If the next ball is hit down the middle, they must shift back to the regular doubles alignment, and so on. Simply flow with the ball. Another way of saying flow with the ball is to wherever the ball is, that's the ball third. Wherever that ball third is, cover the ball third. The other person covers the middle third. So you cover the ball third and the middle third. Now let's see what happens when Lauren and Martha understand this and move correctly, but Nancy on the other side doesn't understand this when Fred goes wide. She forgets to cover the middle. All right, so you can see the obvious hole, the non-hitter didn't do the job. All right, so let's, Nancy now understands. She learned quickly, she must cover the middle third when Fred's on the ball third. So let's see that point again and watch how they all move correctly. Okay, may have missed the shot, but at least they're moving correctly. Remember, always cover the ball third, always cover the middle third. There's no time that the middle third should be left open. Never, never leave the middle third open. Flow with the ball. That wraps up the second priority of successful doubles. Now let's quickly review the important points of priority two. Be in the middle of the opponent's return angle. Always cover the ball third and the middle third. Flow with the ball.